Hey guys, we've got a 40 minutes full body workout today, which is part of my 15 days intense core challenge. We've also got a brand new look in this program, which I hope you like. And as always, you can find a full day by day schedule on my website. Now, get your fitness mat ready, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe, turn on the notification, and let's jump straight into it. We've got three sets to go through today, 30 seconds on and 5 to 15 seconds rest. We're gonna start the workout with lateral high knee. Start by hopping to your side then do a vertical high knee jump. You can start with low impact if you're still not feeling warm enough from your warm ups. Next, we're doing a high knee followed by ankle taps. Tap your opposite knees with your hands, then tap your opposite ankles. If you haven't done this move before, then just take it nice and slow and learn the sequence. Then speed it up. Remember, with any workouts, it's all about going at your own pace and don't expect yourself to ace the workout so quickly. If you need to take a little rest, then go for it. It's okay. Alright, we've got a slightly longer rest now. Get on your mat and we're doing mountain climbers with taps on your knees using your opposite hands. Feel free to do regular mountain climbers if you can't do this version yet. It's okay. Get upright and we're doing some squat jacks next. Squat down low and explode into a jack. For low impact, just do it without the jump. It's perfectly fine and we're still doing a good workout without jumps. Alright, skaters are next, so make sure you got some room to move around with. Hop to the opposite side with your other leg going behind you. Make sure you're landing nice and soft and stay safe guys. Next, we've got overhead jacks. As your hands come down, make sure you give your abs a good squeeze and keep them engaged. Feel free to do the low impact version if you need a breather. Great work guys, next we've got burpee jacks. I know some of you may not be fans of burpees, but they are effective and we're doing them together today. Feel free to do the low impact or do a regular burpee without the jack. And the last exercise for this set is high knees. Do a jog in place if you need a bit of rest, but don't stop moving. You can do this. And 
that's the first set guys nicely done take a longer break if you need to you can also take a small sip of water if you need some but get ready to get on your mat and we're gonna do a half push-up spider you're basically doing a spider-man plank but we're gonna add a slight push-up in there if this move is too hard just do a regular spider-man plank Alright, stay in the same position with got bird dot next. Take it nice and slow if you're starting to feel tired. This exercise is great for the whole body and you can always do the low impact version too. Alright now flip around onto your butt and we're doing some V-sit cycles. Engage your core and make sure your neck isn't tense or your head is pulling forward. Try to have your elbows and knees meet. Next we've got tricep dip reach. Get in a tabletop position, then have your right arm and left leg reach upwards. Then back down and repeat on the other side. Alright now flip around and make sure you have some room to move, we've got bear walk next. Engage your core, keep your back straight and try to not have your knees touch the ground. This may look easy but 30 seconds of this is gonna give your upper body and core a good workout. Alright now flip around and we've got flutters next. Try to get your legs up as high as possible and make sure you're engaging that core. Make sure your back is flat on the mat to avoid straining your lower back too. Great work guys, get into a tabletop position and we've got tricep shoulder taps next. Flip around into a high plank and our last exercise for this set is plank hops. Keep your core engaged as you hop from side to side. For low impact, just take it slow as you have one leg touch the sides one at a time.
and we're done with the second set. Great work guys, just one more set to go. Take a longer break and hydrate yourself if you need to. Next, we're going to do a squat walk forward followed by a vertical jump, then back and repeat. For low impact, just do it without the jump. Alright, get on your mat and we've got wide mountain climbers next. Instead of running your knees forward, run them wide to the side. Keep pushing through guys, you can do it. Nice work guys, now get upright and next we're doing lateral lunge into a reverse lunge. Let's start with our left side. Make sure you're engaging your core and your butt and your front knee doesn't pass your toes. And now onto the other side. Last three exercises guys, we've got Heisman next. It's similar to high knee except that you're hopping slightly to the left and right. You might be feeling tired right now but make sure you're doing it in the right form and land softly. Stay safe guys. Slightly longer break here for you guys and next we've got in and out. And the last exercise for this workout is bicycle crunches. Give this all you got for the next 30 seconds. Let's do this guys. That's the workout guys, you did it! Smash that like button if you had a good sweat session and make sure you got notifications turned on cause you're gonna love the rest of the workouts that's part of this program. Thanks for working out with me and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!